this whole time, I thought, <laughs> this whole time I've been talking for like about two minutes now and I realized I did not go live. I thought I went live. Let's do this again. Hi, my salty pecans. Happy Friday. Happy houseplants and cocktails Friday. It is yet another Friday evening, another Friday night. Depending on where you're located here in the East Coast, it's 9 p.m. So it's nighttime for me. But if you are somewhere more Western, it might be a little bit more in the evening. So as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be consolidating, okay? And when I say consolidating, just a minor cons consolidation in regards to these Monstera cuttings that I've had a few months ago, sometime last year with you all, I actually decided to chop and prop one particular Monstera plant, my Monstera Deliciosa. I've had that big boy for years now, since I believe, I think 2018 is when I purchased that plant. Had it for a while. It was very leggy and I needed... I needed it to get its life together. So I chopped it up. I rooted many of them, many of the cuttings in water. I gave some cuttings away and I kept the ones that I still have. So now I'm in this mood. I'm in a big mood. Can I feel you? Something ain't not cool in my pocket. No, I don't want you. I'm in a big mood. Can I feel want you? All right. So yeah, so like I'm in the mood to change my tablescape in my kitchen. I notice I've been doing this every year. I tend to just switch out my decor when the spring season, the springtime comes. So that's exactly what I'm doing today, okay? Hi, Miss Lady June. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me tonight. I really appreciate you. So... Tonight's cocktail, we are going to be making a little bit of a boozy sort of, oh, come on, how do I say it? Uh, it is a lemon drop, okay? We're going to make a mermaid lemon drop, and I have all of our mermaid lemon drop ingredients behind me, and we're also going to do a little... Trader Joe's haul. I went to Trader Joe's earlier. I had a doctor's appointment. And then there's a TJ's right down the block, a couple blocks down. So I decided to go there and do some groceries because I need the groceries. <laughs> so yes, I am going to set my phone up because I'm liking creating the, um, well, adding my cocktails onto my other social media, like my IG and my Tiki Talk. So I do them in like little couple minute clips. So that's what I'm going to do as well. So let me just set up my camera and we could get into our haul and the rest of the stuff we're chatting about. Uh, do I want to? I don't remember. Did I do this? Backwards facing or front facing? I don't remember what I did last week. How is everyone? I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're happy to, you know, be the weekend. I I know I am. I look so forward to Fridays. Fridays are my, what I look forward to, which sucks, you know, but whatever okay i think this is good enough do i want to change i don't know where my little i have usually a i had a mini tripod a nice one too and i can't for the life of me recall where it is i don't remember the last time I used it. I think I probably used it maybe like three years ago. And since then, I think the last time I did bring it out was for that swap meet and greet that I did in the Bronx a while ago. But yeah, let me set up our cocktail station so I can get into the video. 
I'm trying not to delay myself too long tonight. I just want to get straight to the point with y'all. All right, so. Um, I think I want it to be reversed, actually. Let's clean the back of our camera to just make sure everything looks good. Is my hair getting stuck too? Okay. All right, y'all. I'm good. I think I'm good. Let us get into our lemon drop. So to make the mermaid lemon drop, we are going to be using one ounce of Midori. Midori is a melon liqueur. We need one ounce of blue curacao. You will need vodka, about two ounces. You're also going to need some simple syrup. I made my simple syrup. So this simple syrup is dark because I use brown sugar. I don't have like white sugar. So I, again, just use what I have. And you are going to need your lemon. It would not be a lemon drop without lemon. So I have half of a lemon here. You're going to need about an ounce of that. And of course, your cocktail shaker, your measuring situation and ice so i'm using my leaf motif cubes and i'm i want to be a little fancy so i got me a little champagne glass okay so let us set everything up i'm going to first fill in my container with ice just fill it to the top But wait, there's more. Oh, there was more ice in here. I didn't even realize. I'm just filling this to the top with our leaf ices. So as you can see, this is how this leaf ice cube looks. Leafy, icy, deliciousy. Okay, we're going to set this aside, grab our shaker, and I'm going to add the remaining ice in here. Okay. Now, let's get one ounce of Midori. Well, I'm going to do one ounce of the blue curacao. ounce to the bottom of this one ounce of Midori and we're going to put it to the side so it doesn't mix. I'm going to just lightly just pour it because I don't want it to mix. Okay. I want the blue and the green to be distinct. Okay. Set that aside. To the cocktail shaker, we're going to put one ounce of lemon juice. As I mentioned, grab my fresh lemon and squeeze an ounce of juice into here. Ooh. Ah. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Don't be wasting my juice like that. Okay, this is about an ounce. We're going to put this into here and we're just going to squeeze the rest of this in here because it's making a mess on my table. 
Okay. We're going to add some of our simple syrup for sweetness. And we're going to take two ounces of vodka. and shake. Okay. I make my own simple syrup, so, you know. And I'm just going to now add the lemony juice. Our infused lemon juice. I grabbed myself a straw. It be. That's it. Voila. We are enjoying our mermaid lemon drop. The last time and the first time I actually had a lemon drop. Cheers. Let's take a picture of this. But like I was saying, the first and last time I had a lemon drop was a couple of years ago, maybe almost two years ago now, or a year and a half um, now. I went to New Orleans for my cousin's wedding, and you know, NOLA, they have their lemon drop bombs and all that stuff, so we went to like the French quarters, and we had a time, we had a time. Ooh, Charo, ooh, Chile. All right, let me take my little, my picture for my um, thumbnail. <laughs> Try to get back into my content creating game. Thank you so much for y'all's patience as I create content. <laughs> as I'm creating <laughs> content. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting the <laughs> from, but I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful when you see the monster leaves like inside of here. This, this is not so pretty. Let's give it a taste. Give a little. Cheers. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Oh, I said eat this. To try this. Let me give it a little mermaid mix. Mmm. Mm. I think I might have put a little too much simple syrup because I was I want a little bit more tartness. Let me just add. It was a big piece of lime lemon. So, have y'all ever made any of the cocktails I've created with y'all? Because I have been doing my Friday night lives for a consecutive year now which is so cool, you know, but oh my gosh, how many cocktails have I made with y'all in this last year? Because I, if I'm, my memory is not lying to me, I do recall I started doing these house night cocktail lives around March of last year, actually. So, yeah, let me plug my phone in. And we can continue a video. Okay, so mm. 
I'm not thinking, I don't think I'm going to be on here for too long. I'll probably stay here until like 10 the latest. Uh, I want to go cook some dinner. I have some potatoes boiling. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. It's late, um, but don't worry about the time. So let's get into our Trader Joe's haul first before we get into the houseplant portion of tonight's slide. So I got two bags of uh, groceries. So the first thing I want to show y'all, because I want to go pop this back in the freezer, is I picked up some vanilla ice cream. I don't know if I wanted to make some affogato, but I just got some vanilla ice cream. I just want to show them. The next, we're going to do this bag, okay? So I thought I was only going to go in and just buy this bag worth of groceries. And then she was just like, I think you need another bag. And I'm like, okay. So I picked up another Brookie. They actually, these are pretty delicious. They're like half brownie and half cookie. Delicious. So I got myself a Brookie. These are like my little sneaky desserty treats that I picked up from TJ's. Then let's get down to business, the food portion. I actually really, really want to try these. These are, it's like a mix of different mushrooms, okay? So it contains golden oysters. It has the lion mane. It has the maitake mushrooms as well. So you see it has like this yellow one. It has this little fluffy one that they say is like comparison to me. I'm going to just open it to show you guys. It's going to go in my fridge anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Actually, I'm really curious on what it looks like in real life. I've seen a lot of like vegans. Uh, vegetarian content um, using this product. No, oh, come on. Why am I opening up the message? Okay. Let me fix my light. Okay. I think this might be better. It has a variety of different mushrooms, and this is the one that is like comparable, like texture wise, to me. So, I'm actually really excited to try this mushroom. I don't know why, but I am. So, I'm hungry for some steak. So I'll show y'all that. I think it's in this bag. I also wanted to make some cacho y pepe. Okay. It's essentially like spaghetti, literally with Parmesan cheese and um, ground black pepper. So I just got myself a, a little thing of Parmesan cheese so I can just make my basic AF pasta. I picked up some avocados. Got some these little baby avocados. I got some little Kirby. What are these? These little mini cucumbers. Because these you could just, just snack on them. Just eat as a little snack. I absolutely love this from Trader Joe's, okay? Um, as a New Yorker, I would say I'm very multicultural. I work with very multi, multi, multicultural people. I went to school in a very multi, multicultural school. My friends are all different ethnicities. So I like to eat different food. My coworker at my previous job, she was Chinese. Oh, she is Chinese, so at my previous job, she brought these like scallion pancakes. I love scallion pancakes and Trader Joe's has them. I've purchased these before and I love them. So this time I remembered to buy it. So I actually picked up not one, not two, but three of these green onion pancakes. 
I love this. I love this. And it comes with like five in a container. So good. It's so delicious. You, I, if anything, buy this. If you ever go to Tater Joe's. And then I got myself some flank steak because flank is my preferred, honestly, choice cut of meat. Well, of beef. It's less fatty and it just cooks to perfection. So I'm going to make some of this flank steak for dinner. I also picked up my favorite shrimp gyoza. Love some shrimp gyoza. This is all that was inside of this bag. A pretty good amount of stuff, to be honest. Okay, let's put this back in here. I uh, almost forgot the cotto. Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Is it a crime? Am I the only person sometimes like my mind is always always going, always, always going. And music is always, always, always playing my mind. I'll be like repeating stuff like on repeat. Is it a crime? That's all I know from that lyric. <laughs> so the next uh, bag of TJ's goodies, I picked up a baggie of ciabatta rolls. Okay. And when I like buy bread, because this honestly, this comes with two, four, six, it comes with eight rolls. This is going to last me multiple weeks. All I'm going to do is throw this in the freezer. That's it. That's it. I got some Asperger's. For dinner, that's what I'm going to have with my steak and my boteros. And I'm going to cook some of that mushroom too. So, my sister, I tried this for my sister this morning. Um. I went to just go pick up something at like my parents' house and my sister was like in the kitchen and I'm like, oh, let me get a piece of that. So she cut me a piece of this and I had to go and get it myself. So this is the the focaccia, the, foca the focaccia bread, focaccia, focaccia. And this one has roasted tomatoes and Parmesan on it. So it, it literally is just bread. And as the dough is like, raw dough they put like tomatoes like you know and then they bake the bread with the tomatoes and the cheese and the onions or whatever so all you have to do is just like slice this slice this put it in your toaster oven or your oven don't put it in like the toaster the one that you pop down something like you could pull a tray out so good so good i got some pina we need some pineapple. I got some pineapple juice. And I got some, I'm trying something new. I got some low fat yogurt as well. Um, I really hope I eat this because knowing myself, I actually don't like yogurt. I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional with my protein consumption so this is just an additive for my protein and everything that i showed you came to a total of 83.15 okay and the most expensive thing i purchased was the steak the steak was like 21 22 dollars but other than that everything you know trader joe's has decent prices and i in my opinion i feel like i purchased a lot for that amount of money so yeah let me go put the ice cream in the fridge oh and then while i was shopping i'm like oh let me grab a little something something to snacky snacky drinking on which i ended up not even using so let me show you what i'm talking about is it a crime Is it a crime? 
I also wanted to get myself some boba. Do y'all like boba bubble tea? I got me a taro bubble tea with tapioca. Believe it or not, I actually am a bubble tea making queen. I used to, used to, before the pandemic, I worked at a Chinese store. And it's not like the typical Chinese restaurant, like, what you want to order, chicken with puffer rice? No. I worked at, like, a place in Lower Manhattan, the Lancy area. Um, I learned how to make fancy, like, espressos, fancy um, macchiatos. I learned to do all that. Um, and the reason I worked at that job is because I just needed taxable income. So... I just needed a taxable income, so I just worked at that job. Um, interesting, I learned how to make bubble tea. I learned how to like, you have to like boil the tapioca. It comes in this little hard gray ball, you boil it, and then you have to put it in cold water or else it's gonna get, it's, there's literally a science to the temperature that the tea has to be for like, for these, for, Taro teas, okay, for like lighter teas, they use a jasmine green tea. And for the classic milk teas, they use a black tea. So, the more you know. So, let me have a little sippy sip of my mermaid. Mmm. The extra added lime, lemon. Mmm. Oh, man. This is bomb. Make yourself... A lemon drop. I'm going to get you for this. So, in regards to the plants I'm trying to consolidate, let me grab the third one. I have two of the three readily available. And I'm going to grab the third right now. The show you guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did not realize this was happening. Okay. All right. I did not notice this just happened, y'all. Felix. I don't know if Felix is here right now. If you're here, Felix, or if you're going to watch later and you get to this portion, look what I just found. This happened. It, this literally smells like shit. It smells like fucking shit. Why does it smell like fucking shit? <laughs> Because this whole thing is spoiled. This whole thing is gone. Thank God I divided it into two um, containers. I don't know why all of a sudden this happened. This is so random. Maybe I might try to like cut the greener piece of it, like the green portion, top portion, to see if I can salvage something. This plant was doing so good. I don't know what the hell happened. That just blew mine. That's just blue line. I saw Matt New Yorker sometimes, yo. I be doing a little, a little flame. So yes, the first Monstera. If y'all remember, a couple of months ago, I actually cut down this plant, and it's grown a good amount. Okay, it's grown a really good amount. But I'm just trying to like consolidate the rest of the cuttings that I placed in water into back into this container. I need my table to be. Monstera Deliciosa free, so I can proceed with creating my little terrarium situation that I still haven't created the video for yet. So we have to do this first. And these uh, are the other two containers of the Monstera cuttings. We're going to stuff stuff into here. So. I'm gonna like, oh, yo, I don't know what happened this winter. I have no idea what happened. I have long, oh God, this shit smells so bad. I have to go to my kitchen. I can't smell this right here. Oh, gross. I 
All right. Out of sight, out of smell, because I'm. It was starting to smell so bad. You know. It did rot, Felix. Oh, it's so sad. So yeah, I'm just gonna consolidate the plant into one container. I was. I don't want to have multiple plants. I already have two Albo Monstera plants, and then I just have my regular green. I just want to just have one full plant. I don't want to have more pops just laying around. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, let's brighten up. We're going to repurpose our table. So let me, bear with me, intermission. Um, can y'all see this? That was perfect timing! Ta da! <laughs> All right, let me move my chair out of the way. Let me move the table in the way. <laughs> All right, y'all. Okay. Where's my little changing mat? lemon juice that splattered everywhere. Kobe. All right. Got my plant. I got my pot. And these here, we're going to add it all into this. So I have one big bushy. One big bush. One real big bush on top. Alright. So, I'm going to take the easy way out, y'all. And I'm actually just going to dig. No, this might not be a good idea. Now that I think about it. <laughs> it's looking a little... A little stiff. Looking like the roots are a little rooted. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let's recollect ourselves. I have to... Um, yeah, man. I think I'm gonna have to bite my words. I think I'm gonna have to actually leave this alone. Because the way I'm looking in here, the way I'm sticking this little tiny shovel in here, and it's kind of like, oh, oh, oh. I feel like anytime I'm putting this in, I feel like I'm coming in contact with the root. So, you're lucky. You live to see another lifetime inside of this pot by yourself. We're going to place the other plants in another container, which I did not want to do. And I really don't want to do that. But we're going to have to. So. <sighs> All right. I got to let's figure out our plant pot situation, okay? Let's figure out our plant pot situation. Don't worry. A plant pot is never far away from me. 
Never, ever, ever. Just going to move some of these plants out of the way. And I'm going to take this container down. Okay. This is not big enough. So hold that thought. Don't you move. See, I'm coming right back. Right back for you. Don't you change your position. Girl, I'm on a mission. And maybe trust I'll be missing. Listen, you. I think this might be better, but. All right, let's do it then. Let's do it. But I gotta go. But I never leave. I'll be back to hold you down. All right, y'all. Move this all around.
grab some some this. No horticultural charcoal. A little bit of Let me grab my perlite. It's in the other closet. I can't seem to find my perlite, which I should have a whole big thing of perlite. I can't seem to find it, which is interesting. this little container of leftover for like from who knows what project be careful with the dust for light dust is very like unsafe so just mindful I'm gonna add some Osmocot slow release fertilizer in here as well If you're still watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, Sophie Peace. I really appreciate it. You know. but I guess I don't. All right. So to keep this easy and comfortable, I'm going to add a little bit actually more of this. In here, make it a little bit more trippy. And y'all know my secret ingredient, mosquito bits. For me, mosquito bits are slow release pesticide. You have slow release fertilizer. Mosquito bits are my slow release for, um, insecticide pesticide. Okay. Not as perlite as I wanted it to be, but unfortunately, this is all we have to. This is all I have to use, so I'm going to use my hands now. Miss Lady June, I usually do that too, but this one doesn't seem like it's going to really give me that much trouble. And I think I'm like, hopefully not. I, I always put something at the bottom of my container for that very reason. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> 
Because it's so perfect because I literally have dry sheets here. Place it at the bottom like so. And that is a used dry sheet, FYI. And I'm just going to now... Boom. Boom. I'm about, I'm filling this about like half way worth of soil, okay? Plant. I'm gonna give those roots a little shake and pull them out. Ugh. Ever so slightly, run my hands. Whatever comes out, comes out. Come see, come see. Okay. Whatever may be, will be. It's the last of Okay. Whatever it may be, will be. It's the last of I'm just taking whatever. If it comes off, it comes off. I'm not tripping. So the first one, I'm going to go like here. And this has three separate cuttings in it. Okay, and this is three separate cuttings. Okay. Like so. And then we're going to grab the second plant. Well, the second container. And I'm going to do the same thing with my little, 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 little quick, just agitate whatever is on the foliage, well, the roof, actually. Same thing, just what I'm doing is, you see, there might just be some decayed roots, you know, I'm just wiping those off that's what i'm doing right now and sometimes you know i might what is the word might catch a little suicidal root you know a root that just wants to not be part of this plant anymore so we just you know grab it And of course, this is not to, you know, make light or joke of suicide, of course. Never that. All right. Decayed and growth. And this is one, two, three for five separate plants or cuttings in itself. Look, this is something we definitely miss. Maybe we never miss Kobe. All right. And now fill the rest of the container. So this is how it kind of looks right now. And now we're just popping it off.
I just broke a un, un, an unfurled, unfurled leaf. And that's pretty much it, y'all. So I have now made my life so much easier <laughs> by placing it in here. Okay. I'm going to now add some water. And just for video purposes, because I don't have any other water. It's inside of one of these little low Home Depot saucers. This is a 10 inch saucer. So this fits perfectly snug in this 10 inch saucer. Okay. So I'm literally just going to use the same water that the plants were in. Because to be honest, that water is mad nutritious. Mad nutritious. It's not like the water is dirty or whatever, you know. All that water, nothing has dripped yet. It's a thirsty, it's a real thirsty plant. Um, and I'm gonna just add a little bit more soil on top. I think it looks like there's one plant that might need a little extra soil for its root. Yeah, this container is actually like, I think like perfect size. If I was to have like put both of them into one plant pot, then it would not be good enough. Y'all, would you believe this plant pot once housed my Dyson Balkia? That Dyson Balkia used to be in here. Can y'all believe that? Once upon a time. And this shows you how much, like, I reuse my soil and all that. Like, I reuse my plant pots, not soil. I reuse soil sometimes, too, actually. I, I, use, I reuse soil quite a few times. I have no shame in that. And, yeah, so, to be, so I'm going to give this a little bit of light, which is in this room. Okay? Let me give it more water. I see that nothing has, like, dripped, so I just want to make sure this whole thing is well watered. I'd rather see excess water running so I know that I'm overwatering, okay? And the plant will sit in the overwatered excess running water for like 20 or so minutes, and then I'm going to dump whatever is in here so it doesn't sit in water. It just soaks what it needs. This thing is, is so dry, guys. Yeah. So dry. But we did it. We did it, Salty Peeps. You should see how much water and roots are on my floor. Oh, yeah. Wait, that I think I want this to be my thumbnail. No, Miss Lady June, I don't want to do three pots. Because if I do three pots, it's too many, too many plants. I didn't even want to do this pot. I wanted to do all in one pot. But now I got two green monsteras. I wanted one green monstera. But, you know, the miracle of multiplication. I said I wanted to take a picture, right? Let me take my picture. Et sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. Il sera, sera. Il sera notre temps. Don't judge me. I feel y'all's judgment eyes. Don't judge a child of God. Ah, my phone. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I give up. I think I got a decent one. 
This is how this last photo came out. Hold on. This is how this last photo came out. <laughs> this was not bad. And neither. This was not too bad. <laughs> okay. So that might be like the thumbnail for this YouTube vid. All right, salty peeps. So, <sighs> get my life together. I don't like all this stuff on the floor. What's wrong with them? Okay. Let's shut to the side. <laughs> All right, y'all. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Got too much glass on this floor. Ah! How? All right, salty peeps. So thank you so much for joining me tonight, okay? I'm happy I finally got this out of the way. I have been wanting to, this thing is like full of water now. I have been wanting to just transplant these cuttings into a container for months now. I've been pushing it off, holding it, pushing it back, holding it off for a while. And I said, I'm just going to do it today because if I don't do it today, then who knows when I'm going to do it. Push it off another week, another week, another month. 2025, it'll be on the table still. No, we're not doing that. Get back. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Get back, get back. You don't know me like that. Who sang that song? Look how beautiful, blue and turquoise and tealy this is. all right okay salty peeps so tis the conclusion of tonight's live stream thank you so much for joining me i hope you know it helped you relax it help you just feel at home you know i hope you got your mind you know away from reality and you were able to just be here in this moment with me okay if you have not yet try a mermaid lemon drop okay and if not i might actually just come in another time to show you all just a regular lemon drop without the blue curacao without the midori okay we'll just do a regular basic lemon drop another time okay because i know it might be a little hard to you know just have access to all these different liquors or these different spirits and mixes so we'll do a simple drink okay with that being said thank you so much my salty pecans for watching this video if you have not done so already please give this video a thumbs up for me okay like 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 if you're still here i really appreciate you for all that you do follow me on my other social media networks at houseplant h-a-u-z P-L-A-N-T, and I will see you all on the next one. Love you. Have a great rest of your weekend, and keep an eye out, of course, for my pre-recorded content. And, oh, yeah, you're probably like, well, Pam, I thought you said this video, you were going to put out your little intro song. Yeah, I'm working with a DJ currently, okay, and we are working on getting that finalized so it's more work working with someone else than it would have been you know to just finish up with my little half a situation but you know i'm gonna make a little cute it's a virgo in me all right so i love you all i will see you in the next one let's get going good night Bye. good night miss lady june good night senor felix
Love you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. Take care.